Hey folks, Scott Jackson from Scott Jackson Photography, Digital Art by Scotty. And I'm here again with a new video to talk about, let's take some photos of some textures to be creative. So I'm still here in beautiful Ripon, Wisconsin. I'm at the uh, gazebo here, or the you know shelter, whatever you want to call it, um, here in Ripon. Yeah, I'm just going to take some pictures to get some textures for backgrounds, for overlay, stuff like that. So to do textures, most of the time you're going to use a macro lens or some other type of lens where you can really zoom in on your subject. Now we're looking at this. I know from a distance that we're looking at right now, um, you can't see that very well. But I will take my wonderful EM5 Mark II and I'm going to zoom in on it here. Yeah, let's see, let's do some setting changes, which is always good to do. Yeah, I want to erase all. Yeah, let's kill that first. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. I got ISO. All right, we're going to change this to, there we go, that works on that. Seven. Shutter speed, there we go. Okay, I had to change the shutter speed. I've got the shutter speed set up to 100 right now. Uh, and then I've got f f3.5, so that's what I'm gonna be shooting with this. Right now, let me pick up and do some video of what I'm gonna be shooting. And you can see here, this is the post that I'm shooting. A lot of great texture and stuff in that. Okay, so let's get down to taking some photos. First thing I want to do, there's a, a knot right here. Now this knot does have a staple in They must put a lot of staples in these um, pillars out here. This side doesn't have as much of uh, staples, but there's still a few. So uh, I want to get a picture of this knot. I want to get a picture of some of this other stuff and attempt to see if I can get some of this beautiful textured um, wood, this beautiful beam without staples in it. So I can always go and edit out the staple. That's not a problem using Photoshop. So let me pop in here. What I'm gonna do is I'll zoom in yay close. And let's see. Okay. All right, I got a couple of good photos. I'm gonna turn this more portrait here. I hit the macro function, so. Okay, let me get off to the side here, see if I can find some area without stay. Oh yeah, that's good. That's gonna be a really good one there. Boy, there must be a million spiders out here. Just keep shaking them off my arms. Okay, so I'm getting some texture photos of the wood. I'm shooting with an ISO 200. There's a really beautiful crack right in this wood. It gives off some really good, fine, weathered look to it. So that's great. Let me see what's on the other side of this post. Oh, okay. Now there's a, a knot right in here that looks pretty nice. So let's see what I could do here. Okay. That's a cool looking piece right there. Bye bye spider. Now up there's some 
beam supports and there's a nice bolt. So all these are really great textures that I can pick up. Okay, so I've taken pictures or photos of all these four, three corners on this beam. Let me look on this side. Oh my goodness, it's full of staples. So I think I'll pass on this side. I think I've got enough from this area right here. Now, another thing that I could take pictures of are these, you can't see them in this video right here, but there's picnic benches right straight there. Let me see. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. So what I can do here is I can get some nice red wood textures. And I'll pick it up just like this. You know, being creative is looking for opportunity in everything. These, this particular red, it's almost like a stained redwood that they have here, would make a really great overlay when I'm doing a dramatic photo, Western style or um, country style, that type of stuff, where I want to get a nice vintage look, a weathered look, whether it's on a person's face, on a, um, a different subject, a still life or whatever, stuff like this comes in handy. Yeah, you can go out and buy all this kind of stuff on the web, but why do that? Why not make your own overlays? Why not make your own backgrounds? Why not make all this stuff yourself. That way you've got full control of your photos. And this is a just a fun way of doing it. Well, I'm gonna spin the camera around over this direction. So let's do that. We're shooting into the sun. So this is gonna be hard for the camera to pick it up. But what it is, there's all these beautiful clouds up here right now. And I love to change the clouds on an image, especially if it's just a boring day. If it's a total blue sky, we had some thunderstorms move through here yesterday. So right now we're having some, you know, moderate overcast. So I'm gonna work on that. It's really pretty, it's really nice. So let's see what I can get. I'll of course post some of these photos or post the photos I'm taking in this video. I'm going to put an F11 at about an 800 speed. Much better. I'm getting a little bit of a um, sun flare because that sun's really intense. Also, I have some beautiful clouds out this way. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. There we go. I just want to zoom in enough that I can. Oh, uh, those are going to be pretty. I want that sun to go behind the clouds so I don't get so much lens flare. Okay, that's gonna be nice, beautiful, beautiful. Let's shoot over this direction here, getting some kind of dramatic clouds in here. Okay, sweet, nice, nice. All right, so I got a few photos of dramatic clouds. So right now I'm just picking up backgrounds and stuff. Next thing I'm gonna do is over here on this other side of the pavilion, there's a bunch of beautiful trees and it looks like a nice woodland background or wooded background. So let's move over there and take some photos. All right, so if you look across here, you'll see all these beautiful trees and stuff. I'm gonna to try to get some, some shots right here above the line. Let's see what we got. Have to zoom back out. Okay, that's going to look nice. You see, that's way too much. So, and I want to open the aperture up. I'm going to open it up, open it up to about a, I'd say a seven. Drop my shutter speed. And we'll open the aperture up to about eight. That way I can increase the shutter speed. Just drop it down here a little more. There we go. Yeah, looks good. Now if I too much, there we go. Beautiful. Slip over this direction here. Okay, so I got some wonderful photos of that. Let me take a picture of the camera setup here. 
Okay, real simple. And I got that camera on my Manfrotto tripod. All right, so the whole idea is to get texture photos today. So obviously I'm gonna be editing, editing this video so that you don't have to sit here and watch me take all these flipping photographs, but I will pop the photographs onto the end of the video just the same so that you can get a look. I will probably um, create a photo to show you what I can do with these textures. And you can see for yourself just one of the things you can do with these artistic pieces. Well, for now, till the next time, this is Scott Jackson from scottjacksonphotography.com and Digital Art by Scotty. If you check them both out, you'll see um, what I'm talking about. If you go to Facebook, and my page is Scott Jackson Photography and Digital Art by Scotty, two separate pages. The digital art one is more um, for my drawing style of art, but also I do a lot of photographic art in that one as well. Well, for now, we'll talk to you later, folks, and thanks for watching.